Hey, what's going on, guys? It's the Boss of Tutorials here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make custom merch just like this using Spreadshirt, and it's a really easy website which you could create custom merch on. You can even create your own shop. So first off, um, you're gonna need one of two things. You're gonna need a PC, obviously. You can do it on phone, on mobile, I guess, but it's gonna be really, really difficult. It's gonna be super hard, and you're gonna to need to have Photoshop. Or some kind of photo editor. I also like um, iPicky. It's like a good trans uh, substitution for uh, Photoshop. I'm gonna be using Photoshop though because well, I bought it and it'd be dumb not to use it. But there will be a link to iPicky down below if you guys want to use it to make your merch thing. So that's what we're gonna do first. You're gonna go and visit your. I you're gonna want to go visit iPicky. You're gonna want to go open up Photoshop and make your design. So I'll be back with you guys in a while after I'm done making my design, because I'm going to follow along th with this, I guess. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's the Boss of Tutorials here. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make custom merch just like this using Spreadshirt. And it's a really easy website which you could create custom merch on. You can even create your own shop. So first off, um, you're going to need one of two things. You're going to need a PC, obviously. You can do it on phone, on mobile, I guess, but it's going to be really, really difficult. It's going to be super hard. And you're going to need to have Photoshop or some kind of photo editor. I also like um, iPicky. It's like a good trans uh, substitution for uh, Photoshop. I'm going to be using Photoshop, though, because, well, I bought it, and it would be dumb not to use it. But there will be a link to iPicky down below if you guys want to use it to make your merch thing. So that's what we're going to do first. You're going to go and visit your... I, you're going to want to go visit iPicky, you're going to want to go open up Photoshop and make your design. So I'll be back with you guys in a while after I'm done making my design because I'm going to follow along th with this, I guess. Okay, I've been doing this for about maybe a good hour and a half. And this is the design I'm going to come up with. I think this is going to be the final design. I do like this one a lot better. Uh, I do like it with this because watch if I delete it, it just looks kind of bland in there. But if I put it back, it looks pretty cool. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go save, then you wanna do save as, and this is very important because you're gonna wanna do it as a PNG, and make sure it has this little background where it's like a checkerboard, because if not, then it means it's not transparent and it will not look, uh, preferably that good. So you're gonna wanna save it as a PNG. I'm just gonna call it Bob, and you know what? That's it. And let's save it. Make sure you save it to your desktop. Save. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, cool. Now you got that. We're going to go ahead and go on to Spreadshirt.com, which, like I said, there will be a link in the description down below. Uh, sign in. Okay. And then you're going to go over here where it says Designs. And then if it loads, you're going to go to Upload More Designs. And then browse. You can click and drag it there, but I have it full screen, so you're gonna do your design that you have. It's gonna upload it, and you might think that it's done, but it's it's really not. It's far from that. So you're gonna want to go ahead and click on this little thing, uh, the little pencil kind of, and it'll pop it up here. And let's see how it looks. It looks pretty good. I'm not even gonna lie, it looks pretty cool. Oh, you can't. Oh, okay. They need a new poster thing too, that's cool. And that's how it's going to look for most of them. Like you can go in here and you can see how you can see how it's going to kind of look and you can edit it to where you want to put it. Uh, and I see it's changed design position and product color. So you could, if you wanted to, you can make this a little bit bigger. A little bit smaller. And just kind of fiddle around with it. To wherever you want to go, I quite like that. Uh, the reason that little thing is there is because I put a drop shadow on it to kind of attract your attention to that first the little boss life thing. Uh, you can change it to whatever color you want. This isn't gonna matter um, in the long run, but it's just kind of like to test how it's gonna look. And once you got what you want, you're gonna go ahead and click done. You're gonna go next. This doesn't really matter. Um, the name, I'm just gonna call it Boss Life. Description, the boss of random. That's all I'm gonna put. Um, 
the tags are fine. It's just because so people can uh, find your design. This part is important. Um, so you're going to go. If you want to sell on a spreadsheet, you can. You still get the money uh, for it. So you can go ahead and click that on. I would recommend it. And you can also do shops. And you can select the shops you want. I'm not going to do it on this one. I want it on this one only. I forgot how to do that. I'm pretty sure it's this. You just got to click it though. Press done. And then go ahead and press that. So if you guys want to do shops, you're going to have to go to a spreadsheet. And then click on the little shop thing that I just did. And... Mm, come on. Okay, so you could do open shop or you could do your marketplace showdown or the marketplace showroom, I mean. I just like to open my own shop though, it's easier. You just gotta do open shop and that's really all it is. So let's go ahead and get back to this. And then you can sell it here. Like it even sells to Amazon and eBay and all that cool stuff. So you wanna go click next. I would recommend doing zero dollars. I mean this will give you more money, but it also makes raises the price of the shirt. So I just put it on zero dollars, that's what I always put it on. And then I press create, and then that's that's it. You you're done. That's literally all you have to do, cause that's how easy that is. And anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Also, go make sure you cop this merch. This is a brand new one that I just made today as I am recording this video. Like you can even get a bandana for your dog. It's awesome. I didn't even know you could do that, but apparently you can. So yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. This is the Boss Tutorials. Peace out, guys. Also, make sure to go subscribe to our main channel. Peace out.